We have uh, beans which are tested uh, like this, supported here, and have a little bit, uh, a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And we have the, mm -hmm. the loads here, so you will have a diagram like this. And probably we need to make uh, a mean value. Uh, uh, we need to obtain uh, a mean value of the strength in these two layers we are measuring. Mm -hmm. eh? And uh, with this, according to, to this information, we, we can produce a moment curvature. Um, I don't know if you have a. He has done that and he, he has already produced the. Tension stiffening law mm -hmm. in concrete, and he can also, I think, produce the tension stiffening law for steel mm -hmm. in the first model. But this will be perfect mm -hmm. because we will use that. Okay. And uh, we can, the idea we can make a, a, a common publication if we want. Yes. Uh, but I would like really to uh, make a, a, a very simple proposal because we are engineers. Okay. This is very important. I don't want to be so close to the reality because this is a big lie. A big lie. Uh, but uh, I don't know, do, do, do we have some deflection? Yes, we have deflection, we have uh, rotation, we have everything. So we can uh, obtain also moment curvature yes. variance using probably you, you, you can really to tell him how we did. Okay. We, we will reproduce exactly the same analysis with these results to obtain moment curvature diagrams and the idea to obtain a moment curvature diagram which is uh, an, an, an indirect uh, result from the experimental results because you need to, to obtain the, the strain of two layers and then to make some cooking Actually, in between. We also have three layers. We have bottom, we have uh, side and have top. Mm -hmm. Yes, top. Okay, three. I don't know if with three we will have it because with two we will have a plane. <laughs> with three we will not <laughs> have we any more plane. We do have, we do have <laughs> two more we do have very, very, <laughs> We're very close to a plane. Oh, okay. you are very happy. You are very, very, very close. Yes. <laughs> well, and uh, if one possibility should be one possibility should, should be well, we can uh, uh, use uh, that model. The so model that's one. Yes, the model you uh, derive from our okay. experimental okay. result. And it is it is clear that we will obtain more or less the same. But for me, the most important is to compare these values with the values given on the model given by the model code, for example. Because I would like to uh, know, and it is very important uh, to, to, uh, uh, to know if with a model, a simple model, like the model, the proposal made by the model code at the moment, uh, we obtain good results. And good result is plus, minus 20% or 30%. For me, it's perfect. Plus. But plus or less. <laughs> and, you know, I want to know if we are estima overestimated or underestimated. Because we, if you do that, if you know that, uh, you can take measures. You, you can say, well, we will always be a little bit uh, on the safe or unsafe side and you, you can take decisions. Otherwise, you want to uh, produce this with that data and in a real project you would never produce that. But in any, any cases, as, as you uh, saw, uh, tension, the tension stiffening effect is reducing processes and depend on deformation in constant. Uh, and it, 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 it decreases, it, it decrease. this is decreasing processes, process uh, and the, depending on the formation with increasing uh, strain in yes, the force. But, but you know, the, with the uh, um, fraction calculation, manual code and neural code, you actually have a square law. 
have increasing. Uh, yes. So it's not quite coherent because you have one thing for yeah. Berlin and another thing. For our program, for our program, and you have to consider that, for our program, to, for the analysis of the program we want to analyze, we want to analyze, uh, we will have a beam, a real beam of a, of a building or a real bridge, and we will have a long beam supported by, by columns, and we will have a, under permanent or quasi permanent mm -hmm. a condition, we will have this very uh, moment distribution, and uh, we will have uh, this part in which Theoretically, we will not have cracks, mm -hmm. and we will have this part in which we will start having cracks, and uh, we need to uh, have a good estimation uh, of the of the global behavior of the building. So for me, 30 percent is not a big problem mm -hmm. because we we are not uh, scientists. Uh, we are not. Uh, uh, trying to represent exactly the reality and, 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 and it is uh, good enough. And I would like to understand better uh, the influence of print cage for these uh, beams. Okay, influence uh, of shrinkage is proportional to to the no, in, in this case, in this case, concrete is uh, not, not clearly proportional. In this case, uh, this is uh, this part of diagrams uh, above uh, by the bottom uh, represents concrete. And uh, decreasing will have the effect of concrete. Yes. Uh, decreasing of uh, of this the mean effect of concrete. Yes, 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 yes. Mean, yeah. mean. So, so. Yeah. Yes, mean because you have a crack yeah. in one section, and then you have between cracks yeah, yes, yes, uh, yeah. the the tension is yes. And uh, reducing this part reduces uh, shrinkage effect, but shrinkage effect increases uh, in respect to uh, to in, with increasement of reinforcement tension. Yeah. If we try to, to reproduce initial behavior of, of concrete, uh, this reproducing part uh, increase in elements uh, with higher reinforcement. Yeah. And then um, this part about diagrams because sim uh, will be similar. Yeah. Yeah, but I need to think in Okay, I can sh I can send you our paper where yes please send to him okay where well, I, I okay I don't have a lot of time to read but I okay, think okay. I think all the time I'm thinking all the time one question if you remove the shrinkage effect it's because you don't see any any interaction between shrinkage and the tension of Tiffany law no you are removing as independent phenomenon yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, this is here, here. Because here you have two different cases. Uh, this case is the effect of, uh, of the tension of thickening in, in this yes. moment curvature. Yes. Yes. And this moment curvature uh, diagram is for a beam with a high yes. uh, tensile exactly. uh, Exactly. Yes. And this one, which is bigger, Yes is for this case and here the reinforcement is a little bit uh, is a little bit not easy. It's, it's small. It's yeah. small. And uh, if you measure directly the difference between the stresses in the steel uh, and the stresses in the steel taking into account the you have your changes. Yes. 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 And if you I understood, I understood all the time. <laughs> And here, and here, and, and here you got these two curves. Yes. Uh, uh, and this is for the high level yes. of the steel, and this is for the low yes. level of the steel. And, and this is a very strange diagram. I didn't understand this one. This one. Okay. Because 
these diagrams is normalized according is normalized yes, yes. Accord, in accordance to uh, these equations uh, so there you are not taking uh, getting out the the shrink gauge uh, effect no? uh, this uh, in this element shrinkage was eliminated was eliminated yes no. in this element okay. shrinkage was eliminated and then we obtain that maximum maximum effect. So if was you normalize these two curves, you will obtain uh, the begging of the yes. concrete at the same uh, the same strain and uh, with the same uh, normalized values. Yes, this the same uh, as as can, as you can see uh, normalization performed uh, stresses. Stresses. This is this stress is uh, multiplied uh, by uh, the enforcement area. Then multiplying uh, tensile st stiffness stress okay. in uh, the enforcement area, we obtain uh, uh, tension tension stiffening force. Yes. In in the enforcement. And the main problem is here because here is the the tensile strength and this is the total uh, cross section of the curve. Problem is that uh, sections sections were the same. Yes, I understand. If we if we try to compare in such a but case, this, this uh, product, this value has uh, physical meaning. Yes, but this have less physical. Okay, meaning. but but in this case. Uh, I like the physical meaning. Uh, I can't live uh, without uh, physical In meaning. this case, the tensiles... It's the In this case, the tensile strength and uh, concrete area in all the beams was almost the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, practically, this diagram represents uh, tensile stresses. Uh, multiplied by the enforcement at either. But this, the meaning of the physical meaning of this, uh, I think it is that the tension stiffening is only this. The difference in tension stiffening is only this part, because this big difference is due to the effect yes. of the uh, of the of the tensile strength in relation with the uh, reinforcement. So you when you get, yes, you can Im imagine <coughs> what would be if we do not uh, eliminate the effect. So a little bit, please. What, what will be if we not eliminate the shrinkage uh, effect? In, in the beams with higher reinforcementation, what diagram was uh, very was two that diagrams were added very uh, significant portion of this effect. Yeah. Then if the shrinkage for me is a new aspect and I need to think of that. In, in these cases, uh, blue diagrams would be something like this. Without elimination, you have to eliminate. And in, in your case, I think also it would be mm, interesting to to analyze the uh, effect of uh, shrinkage effect in restrained not only by uh, uh, by the enforcement by and structural. Yes, this is our main goal. I, I and we can say that I, I, I will send you some papers and we were oh, okay. we, we, we had exchange. we had very good ideas on that. Well I, I need to to it is clear that uh, the it seems that the effect of uh, reinforcement is very high but it is not so uh, because the real effect is yes, not. yes, yes, yes. But we need to analyze uh, this moment curvature and our main objective, we will cook a little bit our paper 
together with him, but then we will give good, clear uh, design rules for the poor engineers who are not stupid, but they uh, need to solve problems every day. <laughs> One more note. In uh, respect to these diagrams, you can uh, you can take into account that this uh, uh, strain in reinforcement is quite high. That is less. It is less high than before because in some other uh, yes. Yes. 200 times and yes. now it's 25. Yes. Uh, for in, in this for for design purposes. We should uh, compare this value of uh, effect of uh, enforcement on tension stiffening. It would be less. Yeah, this is very good for us because uh, tension stiffening will be will have a, a, a small influence. But but shrinkage has. Yes, uh, it is very interesting to for us <coughs> to understand. Uh, that influence because we have uh, to consider uh, more global uh, influence of the free gauge and keep and mm -hmm. uh, uh, thermal deformation for example yes. and uh, if we eliminate or we if we evaluate the influence in the attention of uh, and if we can neglect that it should be a basis uh, with, with, with the scientific mm -hmm. basis, because cooking basis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but you have more, could you go a little bit? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, uh, in this direction, more, no? Uh, more? Uh, yeah, this is the last one, I can't remember when I saw. Well, I think, uh, can you uh, uh, can you give us this presentation? So, sure. Sure. And I, yes, I, I want to give you some explanation of this. Okay. Because uh, uh, I have the, 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 the impression that when you have a moment curvature, you uh, if you have the reinforcement only in one layer, uh, when you have the cracks, uh, you will have a sudden change of curvature. But if you have a, a, a distribution of, uh, of uh, reinforcement in different layers, this is more smooth mm -hmm. and this is the, the, the reason why due to this smooth increasing of the curvatures the influence of the of the tension stiffening is bigger in comparison with this one and I, I understood or I learned that for another completely different problem and I will explain you when you have a when you have a, a non-metallic uh, reinforcement mm -hmm. you know that the uh, moment the, the stress the strain diagrams are uh, similar to this mm -hmm. just uh, one elastic and uh, 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 braided yes and uh, in order if you have a section uh, and if you have uh, only one layer of, of uh, reinforcement, you have a moment curvature similar to this one. Yes. You need to change only the inclination, the slope. You can say here uh, tension, stress, the, uh, strain, mm -hmm. or you can put here moment curvature. Yes. If you change the, the scale, uh, you obtain more resistance. But if you have different layers, what will happen? You will, you will have a, a behavior like this, and then you will obtain the rupture of, of the, the, the failure of one layer, and, and, and immediately the moment will go back, 
and then if you increase again, you will, with another stiffness, you will go in this way, fall back in this, in this way. So, at the end, you can obtain certain ductility. Yes. Uh, and, and it's more or less the same. It's more or less the same. Uh, we can give you some uh, information about this problem, which is similar to your problem, I think. Okay, thank you. Well, I don't have any more time because I have another meeting. But I think if we summarize our, I don't know, because if you are with me or not, our first step uh, is that we want to select a good model for attention stream. But a good model from the design point of view. I think the last one would be. Yes, yes, I know that. But uh, we need to make a, we, we need to make probably a, a short state of art because we have two different ways to. to this is actually Giancarlo has written uh, yes. some. Okay, so some we we need to to revise that, then we will, uh, we need to use your experimental results. I understood that we, he uh, will help us telling how you uh, elaborate the, the, the moment curvatures and probably uh, you could uh, help him to analyze that to produce. Yes moment curvature uh, diagrams uh, using two uh, different uh, experimental results strains in fibers okay. and uh, deflections okay. so this is another good uh, way and uh, then we can uh, obtain uh, this curve, and we can use this curve in our analysis because we can obtain um, the tension stiffening curve for the tensile uh, stress strain diagram for the concrete. We can show also that. And finally, I would like to compare uh, the normal curvature diagram with this sophisticated inverse analysis for the seal and for the concrete, with the normal, mm -hmm. uh, and this, with this, I will close the, the paper. Do you want to contribute? Do you allow us to invite him to contribute? Of course. Yes. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay. Thank you for, 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 for the we, we can do that, but you have to work. <laughs> you have to work too. <laughs> I will only uh, criticize. <laughs> I think. Okay, thank you very much. It was very interesting for me to thank learn. You. I need to think a little bit more about shrinkage. In my opinion, shrinkage effect is much more higher than tension stiffening in, in, in calculation cases. And also in short term analysis. Because uh, because it's, it's ha, ha very high impact on preparation results. But this is very interesting because you have uh, next next um, um, uh, tests uh, have to be uh, done trying to obtain information before the test is set. Because if you have uh, non-symmetric uh, distribution of uh, reinforcement, you will have yes. this chamber, yes. and we can measure that chamber, and we can uh, obtain some, uh, some uh, uh, information. Experimental yes. information. Hmm. But not because the main problem for me of your work is that you are working with uh, Athena, and you are trying to obtain uh, 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 to minimize
schema you are trying to minimize the effect of the of the yes. you are trying to obtain the better parameters to to represent the the the, the, the results and this is in a way a little bit tricky because you are playing with all the possibilities you have to obtain good results. I am not criticizing, but I, uh, I, uh, this is uh, something I don't like. I, I, I assume 30 years ago I wanted to represent gravity. Today I want to understand gravity. Uh, this, is, this is enough for me. But uh, it, it, it is clear, but uh, if four years I was trying to, to make uh, such a model, that uh, this model performs the calculation of results that that necessary for me. Yeah. But if I can't do this, how can I perform any models? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. If I can't, but we need to accept our limitations. We if I can't, now, we are not no people. Right? We are not gods. <laughs> if I can't, reality is very, very if complex. I, if I don't understand. How this problem is calculated? Yeah, but it is, for me, it is not a problem of, 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 of uh, a program. It's a problem of, of reality. Reality, you have to understand reality, and then you will be able to uh, estimate a better or worse reality. But reality is very important, and I I I, I appreciate uh, very much uh, that uh, you are trying to obtain, uh, uh, take advantage of the experimental results. This is very interesting. But, uh, 40 years ago I was in Sweden and I was, I, I, I was trying to remember how to calculate because what you measure in a fracture, in a fracture test is the opening of the cracks, the opening of the cracks and I don't remember the the, the, which is the other, um, because you have here opening of the cracks, because you have a, a, a sample like this. Mm -hmm. huh? you, you measure the stress, which actually... No, you, you, have a, 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 you, are opening, you are measuring the opening of the cracks, and, and you have to control uh, the test uh, by this opening. So, the, the machine has to be very stiff. I was making that uh, test 40 years ago or 35 years ago from Jaime Blades. Uh, and uh, I don't remember, I don't remember now uh, what we uh, were, because we had we, we uh, uh, two points of loads and I don't remember what, how we obtained this parameter. Stress. Stress. Stress and you get it as an elastic. I think you get it assuming this is a yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and you this are measuring this stress. Yes, you, you are I don't remember. I don't remember. I will, I will, I will check. I will check because I wrote some papers 30 years ago in ACI. In my opinion, it's not very correct. This, but I, I remember that you had this. Yes. Uh, yes. A diagram yes. like this, and the area of this diagram was defined uh, yes. as G, and then from this information, Bashan, how do you call yes. it? Bashan, uh, transformed this, um, was the first, I think, who uh, produced a transformation of the uh, stress strain tensile uh, diagram for concrete and the diagram was uh, like this like this or like, I don't yes, know, it was like this <laughs> like this and it was very simple and Ho O H was the Chinese student uh, who published that paper with him 30 years ago 25 years ago so uh, very good. I, I am happy because today I have learned a little bit more. Yeah. Now we know how you say expressing the training.
Ja, det är nog det. Det är samma sak. Det är nog det. 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 Det är nog det.